Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome back to the end of Route 2 on Let's Play Star Fox. What could Pepper possibly have to say about it this time? You can tell he's in charge because he points his finger when he talks. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, actually. On course to sneak into Venom's back door. Good luck. Sounds inappropriate. Once again, we'll be forced into the cockpit. It's a good idea to murder the first couple guys here, and then hop back on it. If you want, once again, your playing style is your playing style. It might be a little easier for you to deflect beams and stuff from that view, but I just, I don't prefer it anyway. I don't know why. All right. Slippy, I'm not even a minute into the video. Can you just fend for yourself for one minute? No, he can't. Now these drum things will explode when they get too close, and all of the parts that they blow up with are destructive. So they're not too dangerous. If you keep firing, you should be fine. Let's try to get rid of these guys here. Come on. Murder? No. Man, I missed all those guys. That was horrible. There's something about this, I'm not sure exactly what triggers it, but I think it's a lot of guys on the screen will make that twin blaster appear. And once again, I think it's only been about 30 seconds since so sleeping. Yeah, just be careful with these things because they explode into so many parts. Um, it can be very damaging to your shield if they all hit you. Let's use another one. I'm trying to use them more often. I have a tendency not to use them, but... Yeah, those drum things are a pretty decent spot to use your... And... Slippy is in trouble number three. Yeah, those drum things are a pretty good area to use your Nova Bombs, if need be. I think if you lean off to the sides, you might have some of those, uh... I can just show you for myself. Oh wait. Let's see. No? Well, those little uh, ball things come to, or uh, tend to come down and shoot a bunch of plasma shots in your direction. Nothing we really want to deal with. Now, if you're careful with that orange ship in the top right corner there, he will drop a shield, but you want to... Nuts. Oh, there he is. Get him! Yeah, you want to wait till he's actually in your field of... Uh, Attacking. Like right now? Yeah, there you go. Or not. <sighs> well, yeah, it's actually very hard to uh, pick that up there. So he tends to fly off screen. And just like the other penultimate levels, I guess you would call them. Uh, right before the boss, the bird will come by and drop a bunch of rings for you. If you miss the save point. And now it's time for the Metal Smasher. The key to this guy is using your brakes. You want to do it twice before he gets to you, and that will prevent him from being able to reach you, and... Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Uh, the second key is to focus on one of them. So I know that it is the top one, as it was the right one last time. There we go, made it past that one. Now, if he opens up and he doesn't release any of those barrels, he's going to do his ring attack. It's not terribly hard to dodge. Let's get off to one of the corners. You'll be just fine. Okay, here we go again. No. And he should go back to... Yeah, there we go. Shoot those guys down. Hit the brakes just in case. If you have the, the best lasers there, it should be easy enough to take him out. Oh, hello. But yeah, once you destroy one half, that's why you want to focus on... What is that? Something escaped. But yeah, if you focus on one side of the drum, then the other side will just self-destruct. So it's pointless to go after both. But not too difficult. Just remember the key to him is using your brakes. You have to do it at least twice. You might want to start when it's uh, coming toward you. That would be a wonderful idea. And mass murder. Right. I'm fairly sure that's what that means. And welcome to stage six. This one is pretty fun, albeit a little short. 
There's lots of stuff in the way that can be easily gotten rid of. Hey. Yeah, just be very careful with your wings in this area. There's a lot of stuff to uh, clip it on. Ow. I think those things have a decent drop rate for the uh, shield rate. But they don't choose to drop any for me, apparently. Oh well. What can you do? Ah, there we go. Now this level isn't too challenging, so it should be just fine. Just murder the things that are in your way, just like every other level. Yeah, there's a Nova Bomb over here. Might as well. And boost! Or not! That's okay, we have a save ring right there. Anyway, so. And if you thought that was the halfway point of the level, you'd be correct. Yeah, these guys will just flow in from the side a little bit. Once again, nothing too challenging. Done? How many of your ships do I have to destroy before you guys realize that's a terrible strategy? Answer? All of them. Hello. The hell is that? Oh dear. Ow. Now these guys will follow you, so you kinda gotta listen. Yeah, once you hear that, they are gonna be right behind you, so you wanna kinda duck and then use your brakes there. You can just shoot them down. Not too difficult. Now once you hear that, get over to the right. Hey, buddy. I think this buddy, this buddy, yeah. This guy is called the Galactic Rider. And once he opens up, you want to focus on the inside of him. Don't worry about the uh, guys, but once he closes up, you do want to destroy those. Go away. Alright, now he'll come back and charge you. Stay away. Pretty easy to tell which side he's going to be on, so. Way. Yeah, just alternate sides, he'll... He only does it three times, so... And after he does it three times, he'll open back up, and you get to murder him some more. It's not a bad idea to use a bomb there if you are having trouble uh, getting rid of the biker guys. Hey, did I kill the other one? I don't think I did. You are closer than I think you are. Oh, that was a terrible idea. I thought he was coming back. There we go. Alright, should get him this time. I'm making him look much harder than he is. As soon as you see him open up, Nova Bomb. Or I could just Nova Bomb him. Excuse me. Yeah, he's not terribly challenging, unfortunately. Pretty cool level, pretty unenthusiastic boss. After another interesting fly-in sequence. I have a terrible habit of getting to the final bosses with half shield. Or at least the obstacle course. Whoa. It's pretty trippy. Now this one is a little bit more difficult, as you might expect. Things come a lot faster. And Andros will say a little bit different. Want to use your brakes? Right around here is a very good time to use them. Get more blasters and a broken R wing. You will never escape here alive. As it is time for the face off. What do you mean I used that joke already? Yeah, he's pretty much the same as he was the first time. This murder his eyes here duck down to avoid the other one. Now, I think it seems like he, uh, goes to his inhaling a little quicker, but it could just be me. But once again, pull up and use the brakes. I think that has a 100% chance of uh, getting you through this. He does spew these in your general direction. It's not directly at you, or all of them. So try to pick off one eye if it's possible. I need to let him do this a couple times. 
if I start in the bottom right over here, he should shoot a bunch over to the right before they come flying over here. Get rid of it. Right. Yeah, having two eyes is what makes this battle difficult, so once you get rid of one, you'll be doing much better. Yeah, once again, if he does manage to suck you in like that, uh, he will destroy both of your wings. And that will, oh! Ow. That will leave you with your uh, level 1 laser. Yeah, one eye, much easier to deal with. Eat this, God! There should be some super cool secret for this. Yeah, once he does only have one eye, just fly over to one side, just to lure a lot of these over there. Alright, got them both. And just like last time, his face will open up and reveal his core. You can see it's blue now, and once we do enough damage, it'll turn orange. Now, it is possible, I believe, to get him before he retreats and brings the face back. But you're probably going to have to do it twice. Now, the good thing about this is even though you have to do it again, the eyes have much less HP than they did to start with. To help us out. And it's a very good chance you'll have to do this twice. That's enough. Go away. I don't need to be vomited on. But yeah, it only took me one pass there to get rid of both of them this time. And now it's time to put an end to Andros again! Hooray! Ah, oh, I can't fire my Nova Bombs at him. That guy is such a square. <laughs> uh, no? Uh, okay. And once again, murdering Andros annihilates his base for whatever reason. And we escape! Again! Isn't that the thing we flew into on the first route? Huh. I'll bring up the rear, Fox. I bet you will, Slippy. And we've done it! Route 2 completed! Star Fox and friends get to return home to Corneria. Again. Where, as you might expect, General Pepper will send them on another mission of death. Yay! Happy music! Stats? I'm interested to see how I did it. I think I got another 80, though. Didn't I get another 80 in stage 2? Yeah, that embarrassing 86. I got a couple hundreds, at least. Two one hundreds. Three one hundreds. Look at that. What is that average? Ninety-five? Yeah, somewhere around there. I already forgot what I got in the first round there. Trivial score. Oh, sorry, ninety-six. I can't average that quickly in my head. I can ballpark. Can we go home now? He's dead again. I'm in Cornelia. This is Cornelia. Pepper speaking. <laughs> Congratulations on a job well done. Roger. I'm heading back to Cornelia. I just love how absolutely mellow the voices are. You almost died. Good job. Come back. <laughs> I don't know why that... It just makes me laugh every time. Now, I think the difference between uh, this guy and him on Route 1 is that the the ships he fires in the first attack there will actually shoot rockets instead of lasers, but we didn't allow him to, so... And yeah, he was pretty much the same, except for shooting more rockets, too, so... But don't worry, we will never see those guys again. But let's take a look at the new bosses. This guy was pretty cool. I liked his whole idea there. Professor Hanger! What is a shadow thruster exactly? Nobody likes you. Go away. Yeah, 
Plasma Hydra, one of the harder bosses, I think I've said that before, but... He is no longer a problem, as he is dead. Everybody likes dead Hydras. And the not-so-difficult Metal Crusher. So I'm assuming that was the uh, Galactic Rider there that ejected from the Metal Crusher once we got past it. That's just my theory. I'm not positive that's what it is, but... Is it Rider or Raider? I forget. We're about to find out. Yeah, the Galactic Rider. Okay. His weapon is the Air Bikers. You can do better than that. I'd say him smashing into you is far more difficult. But, once again, this just feels incomplete. I guess we'll figure out what to do next time on Let's Play Star Fox. This is Takamasa, and I'll see you later.